accommodation crisis, Ukrainian refugees told not to bring their pets to Ireland, those fleeing the war in Ukraine have been told not to bring their pets to Ireland due to accommodation shortages, pets not welcome, the government may consider charging people if they bring their pets with them, or else they will be given details of organizations, such as the Irish Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ISCA. It comes as the Department of Integration continues to grapple with accommodation shortages, within what is understood to be a constant and ongoing climate of scarcity. Ukrainian refugees have now been told that there is no accommodation for their pets and that they should not bring them to Ireland. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. It is understood that the Department of Integration has been working with the Ukrainian ambassador Larissa Jurasko and Ukrainian networks to communicate word to people in Ukraine not to bring their animals. The message has been sent back to Ukraine that they cannot accommodate animals. If people do arrive with their pets, they will be given a list of non-governmental organizations, such as the ISPCA, to leave their pets with. It is also understood that the Department of Integration is examining whether people will be charged for their pets as part of the service offering going forward. Refugees already living in Ireland have also been told not to acquire pets. Accommodation Ukrainian Refugees There are an average of 151 Ukrainian refugees arriving into Ireland each day. Some 59,000 people have arrived in Ireland so far. Over 50,000 of these have required state-provided accommodation. Current projections suggests that 72,000 Ukrainian refugees will have arrived into the country by the end of the year, and that 5,400 additional bed spaces will need to be secured to house these people. The Department of Integration is also working towards providing an accommodation-only model that would see refugees have to provide their own meals. The department is also facing the challenge of seeking accommodation for 1,050 international protection seekers by the end of January after receiving notices to quit from two service providers. Offer a home campaign. The government launched the new Offer a Home campaign to ask people to provide vacant homes to refugees. People will now be asked to pledge accommodation through local authorities, rather than the Irish Red Cross. Some 5,500 refugees are in pledged accommodation. Integration Minister Roderick O'Gorman said that it is hoped that the fact that the war in Ukraine is still ongoing and increasing the recognition payment from 400 euros to 800 euros will lead to more people pledging their homes. To date, the government has spent 8 million euros on the recognition payment to 4,000 people. The Office of Public Works, OPW, is also progressing modular homes. Some 500 modular homes that can accommodate 2,000 refugees. The homes take 10 weeks to produce and will be initially located at sites in Cork, Caven, Tipperary, Mayo and Sligo. It is understood that searches are underway for additional sites. The homes are fully insulated with a Burr rating of A2. They can also be moved to different sites if required. Two units will be placed next to each other at all sites, and this will allow the middle wall to be taken down to create one bigger home.